Welcome to the channel everyone. Today, working on Dad's uh, 70 Camaro SS project. Um, no, no body work uh, in this one, but um, we did get some uh, Hotchkiss uh, subframe connectors. Uh, anybody that knows these cars knows they are, uh, they're a subframe uh, construction. So you have a frame up front and then it connects to the body the rest of the body so it's uh, only has like a front frame on it and uh, when you put a good amount of power in these things they like to uh, twist body likes to twist and um, it likes to crack up here I think we're already getting a little bit of cracking going on uh, yeah we've already got a crack going on here so I'm not, I don't want to do any more body work until I get uh, this uh, chassis stiff enough that it ain't going to crack my body work that I'm doing. So that's the next thing that's going to happen. Then hopefully uh, I get motivated and start standing on this thing and we'll get some color on it. But today we're going to get these uh, subframe connectors. Now, I'll pull them out here. I'm not going to do it on film here. I'll pull them out and we'll take a look at them. And then... Uh, me and Dad, we're going to do the install, so maybe I'll have him uh, do some filming or something of me. But anyway, that's uh, what's going to happen. i got to clean the shop out here. we got so much junk laying everywhere. i got to clean it up a little bit so we can get this car moved. So here are the connectors and one end is going to go to uh, the body mount on the uh, <clears throat> subframe and then the other one is going to actually go to the, the, the actual body of the car and it's going to be it's going to be welded into the back of the back side of the car. Um, you can weld or bolt uh, the front side of the car if you ever want to take your uh, 
subframe off. If you weld it, you I guess you can cut the weld, but you can bolt it. We don't know what we're going to do yet, but might just uh, bolt it for now and then uh, maybe weld it later on. But this is all they are, guys. Is this some some tubing here? And yeah, should uh, should really help the car. Gonna get the car on the hoist here, and we've got to uh, figure out where they go. I gotta grind some paint and undercoating off. I've got to uh, clean uh, these up because you gotta clean the the powder powder coating off these to weld to that because you can't weld over powder coating or paint so you got to get everything kind of mocked in place so we know where they go so we know where the, the paint's got to come off the underside but anyway you got to get the car on the hoist and then we'll, we'll go from there guys um you can't uh, install these uh, on a hoist like this you see we're gonna we got a two, po two post uh, lift here. We're going to lift it up. We're just doing this to mock them up. Uh, we're going to set it down on the ground or set it down on some, probably some blocking here. And because all four tires have to be on the ground and the suspension has to be uh, settled and everything to install these uh, connectors. Because if you, if you weld them in or bolt them on, on the hoist and the car is kind of stretching out um, it's not good you want the car where it's going to be driving down the road which is all four tires on the ground but anyway gonna get to uh, the rest of the install here and I'll show you as we go okay so I got the car up on the hoist and I'm test fitting the connectors here I really love the way this thing looks underneath. I wish the top side looked half as good as the, the underside, but uh, maybe in time here. So to, to get these in here, you got stuff like this that you're gonna have to move out of the way. This is a brake line on this side, and then we've got a fuel line on this side. And you're going to have to unbolt these and they got to kind of be moved out of the way because Oh, let's see here. Here's one of my marks right here and then the other mark is right here. So I've got to clean all this off. So I got to get this out of the way and then when you weld them on there you're going to have to have a little uh, movement to get these out of the way to, to weld them in. Uh, this side isn't quite so bad. It's just a smaller brake line. The other side's a fuel line, um, but anyway, I gotta uh, clean this up. Uh, I gotta get the undercoating because we put undercoating under there, and I'm sure there's some of the factory primer was under that. <clears throat> so I gotta do that, and then I've got to uh, clean this off too. So I'm gonna get my grinders out and do a bunch of grinding here, clean up some paint. Okay, so I got the uh, paint and undercoating ground off uh, where these uh, subframe connectors are going to weld to. That should be more than enough uh, to do what I'm going to do. Uh, I've got some over here too. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that very good. But I got a little bit over here. Not as much on this side, but I got uh, both sides cleaned off. So now we got to go up to the front there and figure out how I'm going to do the bolts right here. 
if I need something to support this frame to help me uh, get them off or what, we'll figure something out. Okay, so we've got the uh, subframe connectors uh, in place now. Uh, they are bolted down um, into the front mounts there. You can see that. Dad helped me with that. And they are um, in place there where they're going to be welded. Um, both sides. This side needs to go up a little bit. But we'll push that uh, we'll push that up once the car settles down. So it was a little tricky getting these uh, in the front mounts there. Uh, we had polyurethane uh, bushings uh, or cab cab mounts. So we had these in there and these are polyurethane but the ones that come with the subframe kit are a little different uh, you can see they, they, they have a uh, a thin washer that goes on the top that was not there the bushings look pretty close to the same but there's a sleeve in this one and that sleeve actually goes into the it kind of slides into the subframe connector and gets that uh, kind of centered on the on the mount. Um, so again, you got the thin washer on the floor of the car, the cab mount on top, the sleeve goes inside that. Then you'll have your original subframe. Then this lower uh, bushing goes under that. And then you put your subframe connector in there. And again, it kind of aligns with this bushing right here because it'll be sticking out a little bit. And then you take this uh, bolt, the new bolt they give you, and the thicker washer. It's a much thicker washer uh, for the bottom side. And bolt it all up. Now, we had a little hard time. had to use a pry bar here. We had a little bit of a hard time getting these out. Uh, we had to drop the car down and then set it on these, these blocks, these big blocks we got to relieve the pressure of the frame so we could uh, um, slide the new bushings in and get that flat washer on top. So you're not going to do this on a hoist. It, just, it was just generating too much pressure. We couldn't, couldn't get the mounts out. So you're going to have to set it down. Again, if you got to a drive on four post or something would probably be ideal for this job. Um, all we have is the, the two post uh, mohawk. But anyway, then uh, we had a little bit of trouble getting it lined up. Uh, this side was off a little bit and there's a there's a nut in there. It's a I guess what they call a cage nut where it's a nut and it's inside of a a bracket that holds it from spinning and that's what uh, that's what these big bolts go into, our big cage nuts under here. Had a little bit of trouble getting this one lined up. Had to drop the car down and, and move this flat washer up top. Had to move it over a little bit because it wasn't allowing the bolt to line up. Uh, now I've got uh, all kinds of uh, blurriness going on, but yeah, it's... Uh, that was a little bit difficult. We, we had to uh, kind of finagle that. I put the pry bar inside the frame there and pried it down. I put the pry bar inside the frame and, and pried it down to get the, the bushings out. But yeah, we thought we were going to be able to just leave these old bushings in there, but you really can't do that. You got you to gotta use what they give you because there's a, there's a flat washer on top and that bushing in there. So you gotta use you gotta use what they give you. So anyway we got it all in place now. Um, now um, I'm gonna drop it down on some sort of blocking because I can't weld these in there with it on the hoist. It's gotta be on all four 
uh, all four tires. And actually, I believe you got to have all your weight and stuff that the car is going to have. The uh, car's pretty much got everything. It don't have the interior. I'm sure that don't weigh uh, too much salt. The front seats are in. Um, the windows probably weigh a little bit, but I don't think enough to affect uh, the subframe connectors. Pretty much everything is on the car but some few uh, lights and stuff like that so anyway I'm gonna drop her down on the blocking and then I'll have to crawl under it and uh, weld these up so that's what's gonna happen next Okay guys, so I uh, didn't completely weld it um, under the car. You can see I did the, the big spot welds and I did some of the, the welding on top. I'm going to finish it off uh, with the car up in the air. Uh, those welds should hold it. It's not going to move. Um, I also did this side. You can see I got my welding glove in the way though. but. It's uh, protecting that fuel line. And then I uh, did the uh, bolt on this side. Uh, I still got to drill that one out. I think I might have Dad do that one. So. And I bolted this side. So just so it wouldn't move. Um, and we could get it up in the air. So it's a lot more comfortable to, uh, to work on here. So anyway, I'm going to finish up uh, welding these. I'm kind of doing it slow so I don't overheat those lines. So I'm just kind of welding, letting it kind of cool off and then... Uh, yeah, so that's the way I'm doing it. So I'm going to finish up the welding and we'll see what we have.
Okay guys, so looks like this is a wrap on this job. Uh, see Dad got the other bolt, or the inside bolt drilled out and bolted on. So uh, I've got this uh, all welded. Not the not the prettiest welds up top, but um, it's really difficult to get up in there. Uh, if you do this job, you're gonna see, especially with that uh, uh, welding glove wrapped around that uh, line. And this line is big and thick, and it don't want to move out of the way, so it's tough to get up in there. Tried to clean it up with uh, grinders and stuff like that the best I could. But it's all solidly welded on there. It ain't going nowhere. Now on this side, I got this side welded and there was a bit of a gap uh, between the, the bracket and the frame. I actually used this clamp right here to, to bend it over so it was closer to the frame. Might be able to see it here better. See how I kind of had to bend it towards the frame and then welded it on the, the car there. So, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's all welded. And trust me guys, it's, it's not a fun job because it's hard to get your welder uh, in all these areas to, to make a nice weld. Um, I used all kinds of little grinders and angle grinders and die grinders to, to clean everything up and uh, clean the, the paint off to get a good weld. So I got plan on using anything and everything you can find to, to do this project. Um, I did use the little uh, Hobart uh, welder. I uh, was thinking about using the big welder, but anybody that knows uh, welding on this old metal um, even this this I got this little Hobart turned up all the way and it was burning through the metal too uh, so the big welder it would have it would have just destroyed the metal so um, yeah I don't think you're gonna use a big old big welder on this I don't think you have to because I burned this in pretty good um, you can't see the heat now because I, I I ground it down and cleaned it up, but you can see the heat penetration. It, it had enough heat to to penetrate that um, that metal. So, and this this the metal on the car is not very thick. Um, it is it's like a double thickness right there. But the thing is, is you only weld into the outside piece. And like I said, I blew through some of it. Not because it's rusty. There is no rust uh, on these on these uh, frame rails. There is no rust on these frame rails. So it's just this old metal. Like I said, anybody that welds on this old metal knows that it can blow up on you quick. So like I said, guys, this is gonna probably do it for this video. Um, and actually, this is pretty much the last of the. Uh, mechanical stuff that needs to be done. Um, I do have to uh, undercoat and, and, and repaint and touch up some areas underneath. I'm not going to do that right now. I might might do some of the, the metal areas. I think we used 3M undercoating uh, because it had like a blacker look. I think we tried some other stuff and it looked brownish. So I think we'll have to try to find the 3M and if I remember right the 3M cans didn't go very far. And they were pretty expensive, but we'll probably only need a can or two to, to touch up uh, what we need to do. Um, but like I was saying, it's pretty much it for mechanicals to the car. Uh, I think we got a sway bar that's got to go up front. I think we need new bushings for that. And then um, shocks. We need shocks underneath here. Uh, we've got a little bit of a, a transmission leak. Uh, it seems to be when it sits 
Uh, for some reason it's leaking fluid. I don't really know. We may have to get a new uh, turbo 350 transmission, which it's not hard to get a beefed up one of those. They're not really expensive. Shouldn't be hard to get this thing out. Um, because we put it in, so it would be pretty easy to get it out. Dad's thinking about converting this to uh, like a five or six speed transmission. I don't know about that. Um, because we can't seem to get the car done and putting a different transmission seems like we're going backwards. So I think, I think we're gonna keep the automatic for right now until we get it painted and everything else figured out. Because like I said, we're, we're done we're done mechanically with this thing, so I'd like to, to get her painted and get this thing on the road before we tear it apart again. So anyway guys, hopefully this video uh, helpful, interesting. Um, so that's going to do it for this one guys. I'll see you.